Hi everybody, welcome to or welcome back to the channel. Thank you for joining me for today's reaction. And I'm going to be checking out Janice Joplin. Now this is a name that I'm very familiar with. Um, and I heard it so many times growing up. Um, I knew she was very popular in the 60s. Great live performer. I know she died tragically of a drug overdose. Um, I can't remember which drug it was that she died from. I'm sure somebody will mention it in the comments. But yeah, it's a name that has always been there. But I never listened to any of the music. It wasn't something I, I was going to grow up listening to. And I've got to this point in my life and I've never heard Janis Joplin sing. So this is the first time and I'm going to be checking out me and Bobby McGee. This is recommended by yourselves off the back of a, f a couple of videos now um, down the country line. I didn't think she was a, a country star, so... I'm intrigued to find out. I thought she was another genre. Let's just say another genre. Uh, I didn't think she fell into the realms of country. So maybe she started there. Maybe she finished there. Maybe there was crossovers. I am not sure. But recommended. So it's got to be good. So there's only one thing left to do. Let's go. Busted flat in Baton Rouge, waiting for a train, and I was feeling near as faded as my jeans. Bobby thumbed a diesel down just before it rained, and rode us all the way into New Orleans. I pulled my harpoon out of my dirty red bandana. I was playing soft while Bobby sang the blues. Windshield wiper slapping time I was holding Bobby's hand in mine We sang every song that driver knew Freedom is just another word for nothing left to lose Nothing, I mean nothing, honey, if it ain't free She's definitely got a country feel about her. There's definitely there's a definite twang in that voice. Um, like I said, maybe I just grew up assuming she wasn't a country star, but um, yeah, there's definite definitely a country feel to this song, and it's it obviously it just kind of reeks of the sixties. You can you can always pick out a song from the sixties just by. Just by listening to it instantly, I always feel that. And yeah, it definitely has that vibe. I know this video is quite recent, um, so it's just adding to it. But I'm really trying to listen to the lyrics here. It's She's got a lovely voice. A really, really lovely voice. And you can almost tell that I'm sure she's incredible live. I, I'm sure there's no difference in her voice. So yeah, really enjoying this. And like I said, I can't believe... I've got through 39 years of my life knowing about Janis Joplin, but never listening to Janis Joplin. And I think it's going to be a real treat and a very nice rabbit hole to go down. So I'm going to knock this back a little bit and then let's finish this off. Even good was good enough for me. Good enough for me and my Bobby again. From the Kentucky coal mines to the California sun Hey, Bobby shared the secrets of my soul Through all kinds of weather, through everything that we've done Hey, Bobby, baby, kept me from the whole One day of near Selena's long home, I let him slip away He's looking for that home, and I hope he finds it Next to mine Freedom is just another word For nothing left to lose Nothing That's all that Bobby left me But a feeling good was easy Loud on when he sang the blues A feeling good was good enough for me Good enough for me and my Bobby
Okay, guys, there it was. Janis Joplin, me and Bobby McGee. I've waited 39 years. I finally heard Janis Joplin sing, and it was incredible. Absolutely incredible. She must be amazing live. And I, I know her name is synonymous with um, Woodstock um, around about the, in the 60s. So that must have been incredible, incredible to see live. If anyone, anybody saw her live, please write the comments. Let me know what it was like, because I bet it was incredible. Absolutely incredible. She had a, she, there's, there was points in that song where she had such gravel in her voice, and it, it was absolutely stunning. It really was stunning. And yeah, I cannot wait to see what is next. I really cannot wait to see what's next. Get in the comments your favourites. Your favourite Janis Joplin songs, get them down in that comments. Whichever is the most popular, that is where I'm going next. Because this, like I said earlier, could be an incredible, an incredible rabbit hole to go down. Stunning. Absolutely stunning. Um, like I said, I'm, I'm shocked it's taken me this long in life to get to Janis Joplin. But I'm really, really excited to see what's next. So like I said, it's up to you. But I loved it. Hope, hopefully you did too and give it a thumbs up if you did and until next time guys take care and bye for now